Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here then hi I'm Shelby. It's very nice to make your acquaintance. Today we are going to be doing a wear test. I know I haven't done one of these in a hot minute because I haven't been buying uh, active wear. Because after you buy a bunch of active wear, your bank account is just like, ooh, you need to slow down just a little bit. So today I am actually going to be testing out a pair of the Gymshark Seamless Leggings. I have it in the shade Beet Root, I believe is the color. Um, they are the red color. They have a blue shade and they have a black shade and a gray shade. And I've heard that the black ones are sheer and not squat proof and so are the gray ones in the little like this area um so i decided to go with the red i thought the red was really pretty i don't have anything like it i do love the blue but obviously i need to test out one pair before i even think about investing in another, in another pair of leggings i just have way too many and i don't need anymore at the moment. So that is all I'm going to be testing out today. Um, I believe that the leggings retail, I want to say for like $42, maybe $45 or $48. Um, I have the full length version and I hear that they work well for short people. I don't have a ton of excess um, stuff at the bottom but i do have a little bit um so if you're a short girl and you want to wear long leggings maybe test these out these are working they're super high-waisted which i love they kind of like suck me in i wear these in the sh size i was going to say shade i wear these in the size small i watched whitney simmons kind of tell me her measurements and she likes to size up so she likes to go with these small um and i think they fit perfectly honestly i could probably even go with a medium but the small works really well it helps with kind of sucking me in and all that good stuff um and yeah, it also helps prevent from them being sheer when you squat. A lot of times people will go for smaller sizes when it comes to leggings and then they wonder why they are like sheer and it's like you should go with the size that you should be. Um, also, a lot of people talk about how you should size down in the flex leggings. I got an extra small. They work, but I just kind of wish I had gone with a small. kind of wish that I would have just stuck with my normal, like, I'm not an extra small, but I know I can fit into a small. You know what I mean? Um, I think the whole thing about Gymshark running, like, large, I don't know if that's exactly accurate. Um, people like Nikki Blackder and Jasmine do wear extra smalls in the flex leggings, but again, we're only seeing them on camera, so I don't know how big they are in person. I know Nikki is a small human being. I am a small human being as well, but my body does not look like hers. So I go with the small just to be safe. So I've been wanting to test these out when the weather got a bit cooler. It still has not gotten cool enough to where I feel necessarily comfortable wearing these, but what can you do? You know, I can't change the weather. I can't you know, I, I don't know if it's going to get any cooler. It's just been so hot here. So I was like today, you know what? I'm just going to wear the full length leggings. It's fine. I will sweat a lot, but it's all good. Today in our workout, we are going to be doing a lot of deadlifts, um, shoulder to overhead, and we are going to do Sally, which is uh, Flowers. It's a song called Flowers. I forget what the band name is, but they say, bring Sally up, bring Sally down. And what you do in that moment is when they say, bring Sally down, you squat down. And when they say, bring Sally up, you go back up. It's a really good, fast workout. It's actually really intense. I would suggest just squatting air squats first time doing it. Um, but I typically have worked up to, I think, a 45 pound barbell. Um, that being said, I am going to be squatting today, so we will see how these hold up. Sometimes I get scared wearing new leggings and squatting because I'm like, what if all of a sudden it like 
ripped in the middle of a squat. Um, I went to work out one time and I was wearing some Lululemon. Um, it's like the run train crop leggings or whatever that they used to have. They don't have them anymore, but I noticed a huge hole in the crotch and I was not wearing underwear that day. I was mortified and I was hoping that it wouldn't just like rip in half and show my booty crack and everything. Luckily they did not, but you know what I mean. You never want that to happen, especially when you're squatting. So, that is what we are going to be doing today. I will hop back on when I am done with my workout and let you know how everything held up. All right, I'll see you then. Hi guys, just got back from my workout a little while ago. Again, I do have about a 15 minute walk from the gym, so uh, my workout ended about 20 minutes ago, but I wanted, ew, ew. <laughs> I'm disgusted. I wanted to update you guys on the leggings. I actually really like them. Um, they are a bit more compression feeling than I'm normally used to, or maybe they're a bit thicker feeling. Um, I'm also not used to leggings that are go all the way down to my ankles because I've never been able to find any that are short enough for me that don't like bunch up like a ton and so i am really happy with these if you are a short girl i'm 5'1 for reference if you're a short girl you can definitely get away with wearing these and not having like two feet worth of uh you know legging material left at the bottom so that is exciting um they were a bit warm i will say but again it is a warm day i think it would have been better on a day where it's a bit cooler in the winter time or anything like that um but i really like these and i definitely think that they are worth the price um they held up really well while i was squatting they were not squat or sorry they were squat proof they were not sheer um I will say though, you can see a tiny, tiny bit of skin when you are in this area and lighter areas, um, but they're not revealing anything like booty crack or anything like that. I will say the only issue I had with them was because these are again high waisted, they kept on every time I would bend over, they would roll over. Um, I have issues with like all leggings. Um, that are high-waisted of them rolling over like that so I'm constantly having to pull them up and because these are a bit more high-waisted I had more issues um, but I like them and I would consider repurchasing um, I would probably purchase the blue pair again like I said the black and the gray aren't the black is pretty sheer so i would not get those if you have any intention of like squatting in those um the gray are just a little bit sheer kind of like these are on the lighter bits but i don't think they're going to be showing any like booty or anything like that but i will say i have worked out in gray leggings before and they do tend to get dirty really quickly um the blue color is really pretty the red color i love this color i kept on staring at them when i was running in them and i could see myself in like the mirrors not the mirrors we don't have mirrors in our gym um but i could see myself when i was running past um the outside the outdoor glass. Again, these are Gymshark, so you are going to have to pay around $10 for shipping, which is quite a bit. So I would try and if you're going to buy anything else from Gymshark, just make one big purchase so that way you're not having to, you know, buy one pair of leggings and then you like them and then you pay $10 more. It's just kind of, you know, a good place to buy leggings if you're wanting to stock up on Gymshark things. Um, I checked the seamless leggings. They do have some left in a few sizes, but they do not have any in my size, which is a small. So you have to kind of catch them. You have to sign up for updates, um, watch their Instagram because they're really bad with restocking. They just sell out so quickly. So if you can catch them, I definitely would try. But again, it's just like Gymshark is a smaller company and so they're not like you know a bigger company like nike where it's always going to be in stock because they make tons and tons and tons you just kind of have to catch them at the right time if you liked this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you like wear test if you would like 
me to test out anything in my wear test, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will be sure to check that out. Uh, if you haven't already, be sure and subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on fitness videos. I do a lot of makeup videos as well. But I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.